believe that addiction is a thing that people just sort of do. People just take drugs for a laugh because they're weak. Like, and obviously I don't think that, but is there neurological or at least psychiatric, psychiatric evidence that, this, that addiction is a legitimate condition? Unquestionably, addiction has got something to do with the brain. Most people take drugs. Almost everyone in this country drinks alcohol at some point in their life, but only 10% get addicted. And that 10% are different, and they're different because their brain is different. Our experience tells us that addiction occurs usually through one of three things. One is that people get stressed. When you're stressed, you activate parts of your brain. I've just shown it up here, just this part of the brain here, which we call the amygdala. The amygdala reacts right. to stress. Exactly. And in some people, it reacts excessively to stress. And we know that drugs, like alcohol, can dampen that down. And so many people become dependent on alcohol because they use it to reduce stress. The second is that people get pleasure. They start to do something which is enjoyable, and then they start to take the drug to reinforce that. That comes from another part of the brain. That comes from this part of the brain here. It's an area of the brain which has a lot of the transmitter called dopamine. Dopamine gets you going in the mornings. If, you don't have, if your dopamine's not working, then you're stiff and flat. And the third is that some people are just very impulsive. Impulsivity is actually a very straightforward behavior, which we can model in, in animals, for instance. And it turns out that when you have a very impulsive rat, it has uh, alterations in the dopamine system in the brain. Because what you do is you, is you tell them that when a light comes on, they will get a reward if they push a lever. Light goes on, five second wait, food. The impulsive rat can't wait for five seconds. Well, it just goes, fucking hell, where's my reward? Exactly. It's been three seconds. Uh, there you go. <laughs> and you can find that about 10% of rats are very impulsive. And those rats are interesting because they like cocaine. Mm. You give them cocaine, they take a lot more than the other rats because they have a deficiency of dopamine. They have so an inherent deficiency of dopamine which this cocaine uh, redresses. Exactly. So it fits exactly with the human situation. Well, the thing is, when you said that thing, like, it made me laugh out of identification. That I know that, like, from, I remember from just when I was a kid, if someone goes, like, look, you've just got to wait a little while, Russell. No. I went, no way! Like, it was inconceivable to me to do that. Like a pain, like a roaring existential pain yeah. that I would not tolerate. And it's that rat-like reaction to drugs that makes me one of the 10% of the population that cannot use them recreationally. Time takes